welcome to Alliant Renewable System Integrator. Today we are going to discuss about Siemens VAV Terminal Box Controllers which has application code of 6521. These are application specific controllers. Using this application 6521 we can perform heating as well as the cooling. So we can switch over from heating to cooling, cooling to heating easily. Okay, These are application specific controllers. If you are going to work as a building management system engineer or a building automation control system engineer or a technician then you should know about these controllers okay uh, where can we see these uh, uh, controllers mostly in the metro stations malls okay uh, airports and even in the seaports also we can see these uh, application specific controllers and uh, even for the specific cooling purposes okay storage units in those locations also you can see these um, application specific controllers and if you have a heat ventilation air conditioning system established in, inside a building there if you have a air handling unit or variable air volume unit fan coil units to control these units we can use these application specific controllers what are the things that we are going to discuss today so what is a VAV okay and uh, where can we see these application specific terminals uh, application specific controllers okay terminal box controllers and where uh, how it looks like okay how the 6521 application works okay how it is wired and installed and what are the things as a building management system technician or engineer building automation control system engineer or technician we should know in this VAV tenu box controllers that is application specific controllers code 6521 okay so first VAV before entering the topic let me give you why we need to know about this application specific controllers let me explain it clearly see um, these uh, uh, heat ventilation air conditioning system air handling units VAVs and FCUs we can control using the PLCs the, and mostly uh, this uh, VAVs and the fan coil units will be present inside the field ok so if you go for a PLC it will be little costly and uh, instead of PLC ok we can go for direct digital controllers DDC controllers also to control these variable air volume units and the fan coil units Th there are in certain places if you compare the cost this is also little high so if you go for application specific controllers it is little uh, standard and the cost wise less when compared to the PLCs and the DDC controllers and so when you go for budget okay with the standard in such places you can go for this application specific terminal box controllers because based on our requirement we can choose these controllers okay if you want to perform a heating there are separate controllers if you want to perform cooling there are separate controllers if you want to perform both there are certain controllers and if you want to switch over from heating to cooling and cooling to heating there are specific application specific controllers you can use okay today we are going to discuss the application of scenario 6521 so as we told earlier this VAVs uh, main purpose of this VAVs is to maintain the constant temperature by controlling or modulating the airflow what are the advantage of using this so using this we can perform precise temperature control we can reduce the compressor wear and we can reduce the energy consumption and we can reduce the noise pollution additionally we can do the passive dehumidification process okay wherever the heat ventilation air conditioning industry if you saw our handling units or fan coil units or variable air volume units inside the field for sure in those places we can use and see these controllers So this is a typical photo of the VAV box. This is how it looks like. Based on our requirement, we can change the box sizes also, and even the volume also we can change. It is up to us to decide. Okay. So see here, uh, these are the air flow sensing sensors which are present inside the uh, uh, at the at the front during the supply side. You can see these uh, sensors. From these sensors, we are connecting to our uh, application specific controller terminal controllers. So this is how this. VAV application specific controller that is terminal box controller looks like okay so it has a power supply terminals and we have a communication terminals and in order to command our outputs we have a digital output terminals and even for monitoring purposes we have a analog input and output digital input terminals as well okay in the RTS we are connecting this room temperature sensors and this is a basic wiring diagram of this uh, VAV uh, in order to connect the air velocity uh, tubes we are having the air velocity ports here and in order to mount these controllers in the control panel we have a mounting hole and the mounting rails as well to connect the room temperature sensor we have RTS and to control the communication we have the floor level network and in order to communicate with the power wiring we have a 24 volt AC and in order to connect all our input and output we have a terminals here 
so this is the uh, in depth detail about the power wiring okay in the hot we can connect the phase and in the cold we can connect the neutral for the communication plus and minus we have the separate terminals to connect and if you go for the LED indications, if the digital output is energized, so uh, the air concerned LED will be glowing. Okay, and if you are transmitting any signal from the controller to the field devices, the concerned uh, TX LED will be glowing. And if you are receiving some information from the field to the controller, then the concerned RX um, LED will be glowing. And if you are doing any basic sanity test, it means whether the controller is live or offline whether the control is working or not working then whether it is functioning properly or not those things we can simply identify there is a flashing led on and off continuously it means the it, it's like a heartbeat signal the controller is working okay and this is the physical dimensions if you are planning for any plc panels then we should be pretty clear about these dimensions so in the control electrical control panel the with the help of this dimension we can fix our controllers and if you are planning to use your VAV in the fully occupied mode in such places you can go for this auto zero modules okay so that uh, the VA will be running continuously with the help of this auto zero modules okay and based on our application today we are discussing about application 6521 okay most importantly what are the extra things apart from the others so here normally if you go for a VAV we have a supplier in order to control the supplier we have a supplier damper in order to control the supplier mechanical damper we have a electrical modulating damper actuator so our uh, controller will command the digital output to this moderating damper actuators okay and also in order to maintain in order to switch over from heating to cooling and cooling to heating we need the supply at temperature so if you have any duct sensors you can connect those duct sensors in the supply duct and your your electrical connections you can connect to ai5 that means you can monitor the real time value it can be either 0 to 10 volt or you can go for 4 to 20 milliamps it's up to your requirement okay and room temperature sensor you can connect in the rts ports and if you are having air velocity sensor tubes please connect to the tubing connections so and if you go for this uh, input signals uh, as we told earlier okay we have a selectable switch inside these controllers so by selecting those switch we can switch over from 0 to 10 volt electrical receival or we can go for 4 to 20 milliamps receival it's up to our requirement okay because if you're uh, choosing a temperature sensor of 0 to 10 volt you can directly connect and please make sure the uh, the selector switch which we are using for this analog input selection is in the proper position or if you plan to use a 4 to 20 milliamps sensor then you can uh, change that from uh, for the 4 to 20 milliamps portion okay apart from it the 24 volt AC connection communication wiring damper actuator connections and the room temperature sensor and most importantly here we are using these uh, duct temperature sensors <coughs> and this is how the electrical wiring will be inside those panels this is how uh, the controllers will be there so for the controller to operate properly it needs a 24 volt LC supply with the help of the step down transformer we are converting the high voltage to the required extra low voltage system and we are connecting our damper actuators with the depot terminals and as we told earlier we are monitoring the analog inputs as well from the duct sensor supply duct these sensor will be installed in the supply deck from the deck we are monitoring our electrical output from these sensors is adjustable if we need 4 to 20 minutes we can take or if required we need uh, 0 to 10 volt also we can take okay this is configurable and uh, if uh, real time room temperature sensor uh, room temperature reading we can take with the help of this room temperature sensor we are, we are connecting it to the RTS ports as we told earlier if you are planning to maintain your VAV in the full occupied mode then you can use this auto zero module this is a real time actual photo of the VAV okay there are certain varieties based on the volume wise it will be different sizes it will be different but basic things it will be there it will have a sensing points it will have a dampers and it will have a controller uh, fixing box uh, along with it okay and if you are planning for a uh, actuator wiring then you can it needs a power supply to work and you need to send a control signal as well as you need to take a feedback signals as well okay mostly for the actuators we will go for 0 to 10 volt DC and if you are planning for a graphics this is the typical graphics you can use uh, even if uh, you, you can make any sort of enhancement based on your needs but basically these things should be there it means it should, we need to know whether it is occupied or unoccupied okay and we need to know what is the 
set point temperature in the occupied and the unoccupied mode and what is the uh, damper command that we had given what is the feedback we are getting and if you are planning to install any temperature inside the duct then we need to show the supply duct and also supply duct temperature as well because it will be the electrical signal and we need to scale it from 0 to 100 then those uh, 0 to 50 then we need to show it here okay and also uh, air balancing is the most important thing that we need to do because if you do air balancing then only we will able to know what will be the minimum air flow in liters per second and what will the maximum air flow in liters per second when we do air balancing we can able to sort it out uh, for a particular environment for a particular room what is the minimum flow with the help of the minimum flow we can able to calculate the minimum voltage required to operate the damper so once we do the air balancing we will fix the our uh, dampers in the v, uh, v minimum position as well as the for the maximum air flow we will fix it in the V maximum position okay so based after we set the set point our set point control will be established bit only between these v minimum and the maximum values and this is how uh, we can see our air handling units inside the ceiling in the ducts so how heating or cooling switch over is happening very simple if the heating loop out is less than the switch limit okay most importantly if the control temperature is greater than the control set point what will happen cooling mode will get enabled okay if the control temperature is less than the control set point then heating mode will get enabled this is how it will switch over from heating to cooling cooling to heating okay and also there are based on application we can uh, for the proper functioning uh, we must follow these three methods one is that if we are planning to install a temperature sensor in the supply air duct in order to determine the heating and the cooling mode very simple if the supply temperature is less than the cooling temperature then it is in the cooling mode if the supply temperature is greater than the heating temperature then it is in the heating mode okay if we are connecting a controller in the field panel okay we can command the supply temperature okay how we can command when the supply temperature is commanded below the cooling temperature it means it is in the cooling mode when the supply temperature is commanded above the heating temperature it is in the heating mode okay if you are connecting your controller with the field panel okay you can switch the controller between the heating and the cooling by two commands and if you are going for a heating loop as we told earlier there should be a minimum air flow and there should be maximum air flow and based on our requirement based on our value the minimum flow we need to maintain from that we can adjust it can be from 55 percent it can be 100 percent okay we can do uh, this is the ppcl program which we used to write inside these controllers and if you are going for a flow loop then you can th use these programs to control to maintain the minimum air flow and what are the critical alarms important alarms operational alarms when we choose a VAV high temperature cutoff alarm should be there communication failure alarm backlit uh, router communication failure alarm and the temperature division alarm with the time delay thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and we are providing design installation testing commissioning training supports along with the con um, certifications we are also providing consulting supports also you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and also uh, for the solar on grid off grid and hybrid applications we are providing design installation testing and commissioning support so you can contact us we have provided the contact details here um, if you want the electric vehicle basic training also you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and if you are really interested to establish a home automation or building automation for the access control system okay inside a building or a lighting control system inside a building you can contact us we have provided the contact details here thank you so much